Hey guys, it's Mike from Galaxy S4 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to show you how to replace your lock screen with secret gestures and photos of your choice. So if you're tired of using the pin, pattern, or face unlock and want to switch things up, then head on over to the Play Store and search for Picture Password Lock Screen. It's by developer Twinblade. It's available for free, but there is a pro version available for $1.99, which unlocks additional features. For this tutorial, I'll be using the free one. Um, once you have it installed, go ahead and open it up. And you'll begin the uh, guided setup wizard. So it's really easy to set up. The app walks you through everything, uh, starting with the gestures. So there's three of them. Uh, there are there's a point, a line, and a circle. And you can choose up to three with the free version, and if you have the pro version, you can use up to five. Uh, I'm just going to do one of each so you guys can see what they all look like. So I'll do point, line, and then circle, and the order does matter. So next you'll choose which image you want on your lock screen. So just tap next, and then tap on internal image cropper. And from here you can choose uh, which app you want to pull a photo from. So I'm going to go with the stock gallery. Um, I'm just going to use this picture. So you can pinch and zoom in to use a certain part of the picture or just use the whole thing. And then just tap save when you're done. Right, now we're going to set up the gestures. So there's a little FAQ that gives you the details, so you can give that a read. For now, we just want to note that the uh, line gestures should be straight as possible, circle gestures should be round as possible, and when you draw a circle, uh, lift the finger on the starting point of the circle. Uh, basically, just make sure to go 360 degrees. So tap next when you're done reading the FAQ. So my first gesture is a point. So I'm going to put it in this upper right corner of the piece of paper in the picture. And second gesture is draw a line. So I'll put it along the bottom of the paper. And my third gesture is circle. I'm going to put it around this light reflection on the hamburger bun. Alright, and then tap done. So that'll be the set of gestures that we use to unlock our phone. Um, now you have to set up a pin just in case you have trouble with the gestures. Alright, then it asks you to do the gestures again. Uh, now you can set up an application whitelist. So you can designate certain apps that you want to access without having to perform the lock screen gestures, which is useful for like an alarm or the phone if you're getting a call. So I'd recommend adding those to the whitelist. So I'm going to put the clock and the stock uh, phone app and then just press done once you're done. Then you can choose whether or not you want the app showing in an icon in your status bar. Uh, if you don't allow the icon in your status bar, then the way Android's memory management works, if you have a lot of apps open and your phone gets low on RAM, then it might force close or freeze picture password lock screen. But I've kept it off and it hasn't stopped for me. Uh, the GS4 does have 2 gigs of RAM, so it shouldn't be problematic. And uh, last thing you need to do is disable your Android system lock screen. So if you had a pin, pattern, or face unlock, you need to set it to swipe with no security. So let's head on back to our stock settings. Go to my device, lock screen, and just make sure it's set to swipe, no security. And you're all done setting it up, so let's go ahead and test it out. All right, so my gesture was a point up here. And then the line right there, and the circle. And there we go, phone's unlocked with secret gestures. If you have trouble with the gestures, you can uh, just long press and enter in your pin from there. Uh, one thing I do recommend changing is 
the sensitivity if you do have trouble with the gestures. So you can just go back to the app, go to preferences, and set the sensitivity by editing any of these three settings. Uh, it'll say error tolerance on it. So if you want to be able to do the gestures a little more quickly with some leeway, then you can choose tolerant. Conversely, if you want to be more precise, you can choose strict and that can help decrease the chance of anyone else besides yourself unlocking your phone. And some other settings I recommend changing. Um, just go to gesture and appearance. And um, these two, display drawn gestures and display start point indicator. Uh, just like with the stock Android pattern unlock where you can choose whether or not the pattern you draw is visible or not. Uh, you can set the gestures and their start points to not be displayed. So that will help prevent people looking over your shoulder or something from possibly figuring out your gestures. And one last thing I recommend changing is uh, display gesture hints. So normally it will tell you draw a circle, draw a line, and you can hide those instructions to up the security on your lock screen. So that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial at Galaxy S4 Softmodder.